Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in uh, on this Thursday evening, August 13th, 2020, about 9.17 p.m. here along the West Coast in Northern California. And uh, I got to keep my air conditioner running in the background. Hopefully it's not too bad, but uh, it's pretty hot. We're underneath an uh, excessive heat warning here for the next seven to 10 days. So we're looking at probably about 110 day, 110 on the temperature reading uh, over the next few days or so. So pretty hot. Need to keep this stuff cool in here. Anyway, taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe here shows the latest earthquake out here on the map. Has a 4.4 out here in South America, right around the Columbia region. I haven't seen a whole lot of earthquake activity out there lately. Uh, so this is kind of some newer uh, quakes going on here, at least far as the uh, above 4.0 magnitude goes. Shooting up here towards the United States area, this is the all magnitudes um, over the last day. So it's going to show, you know, pretty much uh, anything that's taking place out here um, as far as earthquake activity goes. Ridgecrest area, seeing some increase in earthquake activity but nothing uh, to write home about just kind of a kind of an elevated level of aftershocks if you will of course it's been well over a year now since the july 4th and july 5th uh, earthquakes that struck down there salton sea region i know a lot of folks still want to know about that what's going on down there still seeing some earthquake activity but no increase in the swarming that's going on that's kind of why we took down the earthquake uh, uh, watch potential we're still keeping an eye on it though. If swarms do develop around here or somewhere else in Southern California, we will reissue that um, alert. The latest earthquake there in the red circle, just a little microquake out there, 1.8 near Ocotillo Wells, California. You can see a lot of earthquake activity out there, but nothing major. This is all pretty much, uh, I would say on, on average, just typical earthquake activity in the uh, state of California. Up here around the Nevada region, a um, little earthquake happening there. 1.2, nothing big. Still some activity popping off there in the uh, Nevada uh, range there. A lot of aftershocks popping off there. If, uh, if I were to bring this down to, or at least up to the 2.5 and above, you can see that activity is pretty much absent, right? We're not seeing a whole lot of 2.5 and you know magnitude 2.5 and above earthquakes happening out here in California so if anybody looks at this map they're gonna see a lot of blankness but the earthquake activity is there nonetheless start to get some hiccups again but uh, you know kind of average I'm, that's all I'm gonna say tonight looking pretty average when it comes to earthquake activity in California Idaho did see a 3.7 earthquake earlier struck around Stanley Idaho and uh, a few for few forks, a few folks reported feeling this earthquake out here. Uh, I tell you what, I'm ready for bed. Um, let's see exactly where this was felt at, and the responding uh, parties there. Just a few people out there. Boise looks like uh, may have felt it. Garden Valley, Stanley, Idaho. So very minimal amount of people feeling it out there, but. Nonetheless, 3.7 out there in Idaho. West Coast, looking pretty quiet, folks. I mean, we're not looking at a whole lot of renewed earthquake activity out here. Let's check the tremor map real quick before... Oh, let's see here, right here. This is today's activity. If you watched the update video yesterday, there was no activity and no activity the day before. Uh, today, a little bit of renewed activity. Southern Oregon region along the Cascadia subduction zone here. And uh, it's just a little, little bit of earthquake, not earthquake activity, but tremor movement down there. Or up there, I should say, from my area. So it's, it's quieted down over the last couple days. We may see this pick back up, and if it does, it's possible we could see the swarming also pick back up there in Southern California. So we're kind of keeping an eye on that uh, activity. Alaska still seeing some activity up here off the Aleutian Islands region, the Aleutian Trench. The uh, biggest quake out there is going to be a 4, well, 5.7, okay. I thought that was a 4.7, but never mind. Um, earlier, 
and of course some uh, small aftershocks following that activity uh, there in that region. I'm going to go back over here to the globe real quick and we can see the depth of these earthquakes that are taking place out here in the uh, Pacific. You can see uh, some deep earthquake activity returning to the globe. This has been pretty non-existent for quite some time up here around Japan region. We had a pretty deep earthquake as well. Uh, a little 4.2 at 396 kilometers there. That's that red circle with the yellow uh, center ring. Also some deeper earthquake activity uh, over here. Let's see where's that at. There we go. Towards the Indonesia Islands area at 234 kilometers. And of course Fiji Islands, a, uh, it's a major player when it comes to deep earthquakes out here. Um, we see this all the time, this activity bounce back and forth between Fiji, Japan, Indonesia Islands area with deep earthquake movement. And from there uh, we see all the surface quaking going on. But uh, it's a pretty deep one over there in Fiji, South Fiji, about 539 kilometers below the surface, that 4.4 uh, struck there. So renewed deep earthquake activity returning out there on this beautiful globe that we live on. I did check uh, the hazards out here in Hawaii. There's been a little bit of earthquake activity out there. We can zoom in here and, and uh, check this out. Volcanic related, of course. Bring this back down to the all magnitudes. And we can see the uh, activity taking place here. A lot of activity still offshore. Um, off the big island here but also some activity inland as well near Mona, Mona Loa of course they've had a pretty good swarm of earthquake activity you can bring this up uh, here let's go seven days all magnitudes and you can see a little bit more uh, of increase on the map I did check the uh, volcano level alert in that region and it's still sitting at about advisory level that's going to be right there Mauna Loa region yellow they're still you know kind of monitoring it they've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity out there uh, it's not erupting rates of deformation and seismic activity have not changed significantly over the past week but uh, remain above long-term background levels uh, and according to the USGS over the past week HVO seismic seismometers detected approximately 164 small magnitude earthquakes all below 2.5 and below the volcano summit and upper elevation flanks um, so yeah global poli global positioning measurements show continued slow inflation of the summit consistent with magma supply to the volcano's shallow storage system so yeah kind of kind of watching it it's that yellow no need to uh, panic on that volcano, but uh, worthy of the mention there. And, um, you know, Hawaii's a, a beautiful area, but it's also volcanic. Uh, it's a volcanic uh, area. All these chains of um, islands are. So it's definitely worthy to mention activity when it does happen. So. Anyway, folks, um, I'm a little on the tired side, so we're gonna call we're gonna call it a night here. Um, and I hope everyone has a good night, get some good sleep, whatever you're doing out there. If you gotta work, then uh, I better not be sleeping, right? I don't miss my night shifts, that's for sure. I did that for, for a good ten years, and that was absolutely horrible. Not worth it, let me tell you. Anyway, have a good night, folks. Please stay safe out there, and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. For now, we'll remain, or we'll leave up the Tehachapi Depot Railroad Museum webcam. Uh, and then we'll probably switch it back over here to Yellowstone National Park webcam uh, within a couple days or so. Pending earthquake activity doesn't pick up there in Southern California. So stay safe, folks. We'll chat you guys another time. And uh, have a good night.